Mount Shasta is a very mystical mountain. So there's many, many stories. One thing is, one of the great legends of Mount Shasta is that the last of the Lemurians live in caverns underneath Mount Shasta. And Lemuria was a great continent, and just like Atlantis, it vanished, uh, it was destroyed, uh, it was people there live, uh, living there with high technology. Could they have possibly been extraterrestrials? Who knows? But the Lemurians needed an escape route to go somewhere, and they went to Mount Chasta. And the last of the Lemurians, legend has it, live in Mount Chasta. There have been reported sightings of these tall people with robes. And these campers, one day, they were out there camping out in Mount Chasta, and they saw these tall people with robes. They saw three. And they kept on looking at them. Then they noticed that they had an eye right there on the forehead. So as they were watching them, they glided down the mountain. They didn't walk down the mountain, but they glided down the mountain. And they approached the campsite. They were just totally terrified. And the Lemurians just looked at them and just walked away. Now, the theory is those were Lemurians. Um, there's ghostly activity where Indians have died or they became sick and died at Mount Chasta. So there's ghostly activity of Native American Indians or people who've actually died at Mount Chasta. Um, there's stories of Bigfoot. There's stories of Bigfoot who are associated with UFO activity. People see a UFO and then they see a Bigfoot. Or they see a Bigfoot and then they see a UFO. Um, this is a good one. 1936, the legendary Count St. Germain, a, no, a known immortal, uh, an immortal who looked the same from the 1700s, he looked the same in the 1800s, he went courting uh, the, the various uh, royal dynasties, um, uh, he was a consultant to kings and queens, um, Count St. Saint Germain, and then he was sighted in 1936 at Mount Chasta. So that's a very amazing story. There are stories of fairies at Mount Chasta. Uh, UFOs are seen going in and out of the volcano. Um, a lot of people think that uh, an energy source, a, uh, a place, a, a way station or a fuel, a place to get fuel is Mount Chasta. That's why you see UFOs. And Mount Chasta is connected to ley lines, and the ley lines go out through various parts of California. Um, uh, also, two, uh, two military jets were seen to go inside the mountain. So is there some type of uh, alliance with our military, with UFOs, where military airplanes and UFOs are seen coming in and out of the mountain? Is there a secret base there? Does the military know that UFOs uh, are inside Mount Shasta? Here's another thing. In the caverns, people go into the caverns and they hear the sound of machinery. So there's probably a secret UFO base or a military base inside Mount Shasta. And uh, there's a lot of Bigfoot activity at Mount Shasta. I, I, I feel Mount Shasta and... There's been reports that they feel like there's a vortex, a dimensional gateway at Mount Chasta. The Native American Indians even said that they felt there was a gateway at Mount Chasta where you can go from this reality to the world of the sky gods. So my, my belief is that there is doorways to other realities and that's what brings in all this paranormal stuff because of these gateways even with ghosts i feel they 
go through some type of tunnel or a gateway, and that's what causes various hauntings. When we did Mount Shasta, um, the secretary, the secretary of, um, of Sylvia Brown, Sylvia Brown says famous psychic. Well, her secretary was a psychic also. And when we went to Mount Shasta, the secretary was detecting the fact that there could be a UFO behind her. So she told me to take a picture of her. And when I looked at the picture, there was a tilted UFO behind her. Like when I took that picture and I got the tilted UFO behind the psychic, okay, that was a tease. Um, I want I want to get more photos. I want to get video evidence of UFO activity at Mount Shasta. I want to hear the machinery that people hear in the caverns. I want to get more Bigfoot type uh, uh, evidence. Um, with the witnesses that I had to testify to the fact that when I hit wood on wood and then the three rocks hit the creek, that was evidence because I had two witnesses that testified to the fact that actually happened. Um, I would like to see a Bigfoot nest. I haven't encountered that yet. Um, I would like to utilize psychics on the investigation because psychics seem to pick up on Bigfoot. Um, they, they seem to have some type of communication with Bigfoot. They, um, uh, that's where... I followed a psychic, and that's where I got that communication. Of she felt Bigfoot was in one area, and I did wood on wood and got the three rocks in the creek. Um, also, two psychics are very good in communicating or bringing out UFO activity. So I definitely want to use psychics on on uh, the investigation on Mount Chasta. Um, I there's just so much going on over there. There are so many unanswered. Uh, questions and everything else, so I need to know what's going on. I need to investigate further. So I think that Mount Shasta is truly a mystical mountain because Native American Indians, before even white man stepped on our, on the soil of California, they were saying that it was a gateway to the gods. So the Native American Indians knew something was going on with that mountain. Uh, I do believe that there are secret bases out here because when I was in military intelligence, Operation Delta took me to a very secret base. I was in a bus, all the windows were blacked out, went inside this mountain, and inside there was elaborate listening devices for us to listen to North Korea, Red China, and Russia. So uh, the military has many type of uh, uh, underground complexes, um, and I do believe that uh, there's just so much evidence that points to the fact that our military knows a lot more about UFOs than they're telling. And what, what I experienced in military intelligence, seeing those photographs come in, and on the back of those photographs said intelligent movement, and those pictures represented uh, a bigger picture videos each one represented videos and the ufos that i saw was cigar shaped disc shaped globe something that looks like ball lightning and these were taken in outer space so the military has a strong interest in ufo activity and even though when project blue book closed its doors and closed the book the military is still looking into ufos and they know a lot more than they're telling my name is Paul Dale Roberts, and I am a paranormal investigator and the co-owner of Halo Paranormal Investigations. Okay.